let's look at this question masters academy had impact upon impact upon an epms employee performance management system project in 2013 and continued with it till 2016 the following charts indicate the response to the question how often does your company review reported data to measure performance okay asked to all its employees the employee strength of the company has increased from 28700 in 2013 to 35600 in 2016 roughly 7000 increase the performance review frequencies are considered here are continuously monthly quarterly annually biannually and never rarely so we have six responses we have six responses for these two years and we have percentage figures given to us we have percentage figures given to us two pie charts comparison of pie chart is the only skill we need first question which frequency has shown the second highest increase second highest increase in the number of employees responding in favor of that frequency in 2016 as compared to 2013 so only in percentage terms i'm writing now let's say we have continuously we have monthly we have quarterly we have annually we have bi annually and we have never rarely so let's go let's check continuously was previously 6 now is 53 then monthly is uh, previously 21 now is 22 quarterly was previously 9 and now is 7 annual mm, annual is how much previously was 21 now is 10 by annual previously the number is unknown But new number is zero, okay, and never rarely was thirty three year and eight year. But no problem. Even if we don't have the number here, we know these numbers have to add up to hundred only. So twenty one plus twenty one is forty two. Forty two plus forty two is eighty four. Eighty four plus six is ninety. So this should be ten. Ten to zero. Now, the question was second highest increase. Remember, not the percentage increase. It is asking for the second highest increase, the absolute increase. so technically we should be finding out percentage figures or we have the percentage figure we should be finding out absolute figures absolute figures and then see where the greatest change has happened but given that this has definitely increased 6% of a smaller number 53% of a larger number this has also increased 21% of a larger number and 22% of a uh, sorry 21% of a smaller number 22% of a larger number Yes, nine to seven could have potentially increased, could have potentially decreased. Most likely, it has increased, but could have potentially increased, could have potentially decreased, could have potentially increased, could have potentially decreased, could have potentially increased, could have potentially decreased for quarterly, annual, biannual, and never. If you are comfortable with numbers, you will know it is a twenty percent increase. Because it is a twenty percent increase, any decrease of less of sixteen point six six percent or uh, more than that will lead to a uh, decrease, or anything lower than that will lead to an increase. But the fact that these are the only two, and this is definitely the largest increase, six to fifty three percent is definitely the largest increase. At this time itself, you can mark monthly as the most assured second highest increase in the number of employees responding in favor of that frequency. Let's go to the next question. The project is considered to be successful if the number of employees that respond to the question in twenty sixteen, with one of the three following frequencies, continuously, monthly, and quarterly, is equal to or more than the employee strength in twenty thirty. Okay, number of employees who responded to uh, the question in twenty sixteen fifty three twenty two adds up to seventy five seventy five. So we have to figure out if eighty two percent of Thirty five six hundred is larger, or twenty eight seven hundred is larger, or eighty two into three fifty six. I have to figure out this number if this is larger than this or not. So we do three fifty six into eighty, and three fifty six into two would be seven hundred twelve. So six into eight is eight. Four carried over is four. Four carried over is two eight four eight zero plus seven hundred twelve 
hopefully you can see this submission is definitely greater than 28,700. And therefore, would the project be considered successful? Of course, yes. Of course, yes. Okay. Let us go to the next question. Which frequency recorded the minimum decrease in number of respondents in favor of it from 2013 to 2016? Minimum decrease. Okay. Can I say monthly is out? Because it says minimum decrease and monthly had an increase. This is anyway out. For quarterly, I would have 9% or 9% of 28700. Zero, zero. To seven percent of three five seven zero zero. Given that the last two digits are zero anyway, nine into two eighty seven minus seven into three fifty seven. We have to see, and this this would only be considered valid if it gives me a positive result. So nine into two eighty seven is how much? Two eight seven zero minus two eight seven. This gives me 0 minus 7 is 3, 16 minus 8 is 8, 7 minus 2 is 5, 2, 5, 8, 3. So I have 2, 5, 8, 3 minus 7 into 3, 57, which is 49 into 51, it seems, because this is divisible by 7. So 7 into 7 gives me 49, 49 into 51. And this I know to be 50 square minus 1 square. So 2, 4, or 9, 9. So yes, here I get a the decrease is of 84. For quarterly, the decrease is of 84. Now let us do the same working for annual and biannual. In fact, for biannual, it is easy. 10% of 28700 zero, minus 0% of something. This will be 287 directly. The work for uh, annual would be 21 into 287 minus 10% of 3560. So minus 3560. Oh, in fact, this would not be 287. This would be 2870. 10% is there. 21 into this. Can you see even if this even if this was 20? Even if this was 20. We would have 5600 plus minus 3560. Can you see this is definitely greater than 84 that we had arrived for quarterly? So, this is not the answer. This is not the answer. The minimum decrease is happening for the quarterly option, and that minimum decrease is 84. Okay. Next is what is the difference between the number of employees responding annually in 2013 and 2016? Okay, so we should have calculated the precise thing here. Let's go 2870, 2870, and 287. This is the number of employees who voted annually in 2013. So we get 7, we get 2. Uh, 772, 2 carried over. So 882, we get 0, and we get 2. 6027 minus 3560. So 7, then 6, then 9 minus 5, 4, then 2, 2, 4, 6, 7, or option B. This will be the final answer. This will be the final answer. And that is the entirety of this set. Fairly straightforward. More to do with the fact that you should be comfortable with numbers and should be comfortable with uh, comparing pie charts. Mm -hmm.